レッツを。<笑>ヨガ<笑>
but not being the camera guy, I might have missed on a couple of nuances here and there, so pardon me for that. Coming to the front facing 8 megapixel camera now, it's a wide angle lens that captures a good amount of detail as well. Turns out, it performs equally satisfactory as the main sensor under decent lighting conditions. However, it also brings in a little bit of noise and grain under low light. If you wish to see photos taken from this camera in full resolution, don't forget to check out the article link in the description box below. You can click on the card above as well. Next up, let's discuss about the software the phone runs on. The Zenfone 3 brings Android Marshmallow 6.0.1 out of the box and not Nougat. But of course, Asus has implemented Zen UI Skin, which hasn't changed a lot from the previous iteration. I simply don't enjoy it, which is why I installed the Google Now Launcher. Besides, the phone has quite a few pre-installed apps and luckily they can be disabled or uninstalled. The bottom line here is that the phone is really good in terms of the camera performance and the build quality. However, a few modulations here and there make the phone sound a little unconvincing for the price point of Rs 21,100. Well, again, don't misunderstand me. The phone is actually amazing and blazing fast, but does have a few pesky things that mess it up a little bit. Well, that is it for this review. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you did, don't forget to hit the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Thanks for watching. This was Raul from True Tech. Have a great day.